Welcome back, and we are ready for our second round one head-to-head -head battle in the Matcha Madness Challenge. In today's battle, we are going to be pitting Matcha Akatsuki from the Tea Crane up against Matcha from Uji Shirakawa, Goku Cultivar, and that's coming to us via Tes de Hupon. Since we already know the brewing method that I'll be employing today, let's just start brewing these guys up, and then I'll see you here for the tasting. sped up footage, I did manage to lose a little bit of the uh, matcha Uji Shirakawa Goko. I'll just try and keep that in mind as I taste. It wasn't too much. It looked like it was only about four, a little less than four milliliters total. Shouldn't have a big impact, but that is one of the downsides to using the aerator is getting just the right angle to get it whipping up nice and good and not coming out of your tumbler. These are not the best design for keeping the liquid in as I do this. I have another tumbler that I typically use when I'm making my matcha, and I've got that one pretty well figured out. It's opaque, so I didn't want to use it for the videos. All right, so let's take our first smell. This one actually reminds me a lot of that Blend 97 from the last battle. Very clean, very light, just kind of a sweet water, nothing unpleasant, nothing really jumping out at me either. Okay, let's smell the Akatsuki. Man, they're very, very, very similar in their smell. Not much different at all. Let's see how they shake out on the actual taste. Hmm, okay. That one, that's really, that's nice. That's got an interesting progression. It had this flavor that hit me immediately, which is unlike anything I've had in matcha so far. Not that I've obviously had a ton. That's kind of the whole purpose of this challenge here is to try the different flavors and find out what I like the best. The, the first thing that came to my mind was cereal, but that's not quite right. Not sure, but I'm not sure exactly what I would call that other than good. It does have, I noticed on the first taste there was a bit of that bitterness that kind of came secondary after the sweetness. So it wasn't, it didn't hit me immediately, but just kind of came up behind and add a little bit of depth and additional flavor to the, the, to the matcha. I don't taste any bitterness now. It's all completely dissipated into a kind of sweet aftertaste. But there is, there's definitely a kind of a, a fleeting, like a burnt marshmallow almost, kind of like a bitter but still sweet. All right, that's great. That's good, I like that. Let's try the uh, Akatsuki. Hmm. Okay, more sweet, very savory, very sweet savory, less bitter than the uh, Goko. I like that's very easy, very easy drinker. There's just the slightest nod to what might be bitterness, but it's so, so mild. Wow, that's just, that's really good. I'm gonna try this one one more time. Yeah, that's good. And that first, the very first taste was something unique and exciting, and I'm glad I tried it, but for this battle, I think I'm gonna to have to give it to the Akatsuki. So since the uh, matcha from Uji Shirakawa, Goku Cultivar, from this to Hupong has fallen out of the tournament, it is now time to go over the details of this particular matcha. So, as mentioned, this is from Tes de Hupong. It comes in a 20 gram, which is kind of unique. 30 is more common. It had one of those uh, Mylar bags filled with the matcha inside of it, but this cap on top, this kind of just rubber cap, not a super big fan of. I'm sure it's good enough if, if you're going to be going through your matcha pretty quickly, but I would like a little bit more airtight uh, container if possible. Again, it's not a terrible container. Being an international order, the price that I'm going to quote here was the price I paid. So at the exact moment that I went through the checkout process, taking into account the exchange rate, I paid $34.67, and for 20 grams, that means we're paying uh, $1.73 per gram. As mentioned, the cultivar is Goko, and this was picked in uh, May of 2018, and it comes from Uji Shirakawa. In keeping with the methodology I mentioned before, I'm now going to read all of the details that were presented on Testa Hupon which in this case is quite a bit. The highly noted winner of many awards, Tsuji Kyuharu, has also given this area a name for matcha. This talented producer uses only organic fertilizers and limits the use of pesticides to a minimum. 
which does not prevent him from producing high-quality matchas, hand-picked from unpruned tea trees. The Goku cultivar, which is widely used in Uji for fine gyokurus, is rather unusual for this type of high-quality quote-unquote true matcha. However, the producer agreed to our request and produced an admirable Shijen Shitate matcha using Goku. The result has met our expectations. It is a matcha with a fragrance that is sweet, but has a light sour note. In the mouth, the initial impression is powerful but very mellow, and the aftertaste is unusual and highly engaging. There are aromas halfway between figs and red fruit, echoing the sweet yet sour nose. Naturally, this matcha is strong and umami, but is not overpowering. This is proof that, contrary to what some may say, Goku does not produce matcha that is too disconcerting, but, on the contrary, it can be used to make an elegant matcha with just the right degree of personality. An outstanding matcha, allowing personality and excellence, and this is perfect for Usucha, but also for Koicha. I have to agree, again, with pretty much everything they said. I did not get a sourness in my particular taste. I mean, since it's been kicked out, let's give it another try here. And I suppose if I go searching for it, just there's a little bit of sourness in the back of the throat. And then if I sit and focus on trying to find, I can come up with. I did not get any red fruit though. Strawberries, raspberries, goji berry. I don't really get any of that. As I said, it, that first taste is really something special. I really enjoyed it. But to go back to and has as a daily drinker, we're going to take Akatsuki into the next round. So I will see you there.